Okay, here I'm going to show how I fixed a uh, circling fixture little desk lamp. Uh, I've had it for two or three years and bulbs started flickering, finally went out. And I got some new bulbs for it. I uh, found a good place for that. But uh, plugged it in and didn't do anything. So I uh, took it apart, found out that the little uh, ballast had gone bad. So actually the fuse blew, so with it, you know, figure well for the new bulb, maybe just replace the fuse. Well, that's what I did. And still didn't work. Actually the fuse blew. So this is the board that was in there. And I found there were two little transistors on there. And they were bad. So I ordered some new transistors, put them in, and still didn't work. Finally, I found out the little transformer in there was dead. And I have that here as well. A little thing there. And, well, I tore it apart to see if what was wrong with it and when the windings was open. So, so that whole board was pretty well shot. Okay, then I took a CFL and took it apart. And I found this little ballast in there, little CSL driver. And I tried that, but it didn't seem to work. So I took another one apart. See that's the CSL part right here. And it has like four wires coming out of there, two on each side. And they go to two each on the PC board. This was the base. And I pulled the little converter out of it and there it is. And I found that what you have to do is where the bulb connects, you have to actually connect those two wires together. So I shorted them out with the two, and it worked. So I'm going to try to put that back into there. And I put a little external fuse there, soldered it in, and should be ready to go. Okay, I have it on a variable power supply just to be safe. So I'm going to crank it up and there's about, that's only about 50 volts. And that's 120. Looks mighty bright. I don't know if it's too bright or not, but well, we'll see. Okay, I measured the current and it looked like about 100 milliamps. So 120 volts, 100 milliamps, that's 12 watts. That is exactly what I need for that. This is, I think it was a 60 watt equivalent CFL, which is usually about 11 to 13 watts. So just about right. So anyway, here's where I got the bulb. You can see I got two of them for like $10. And shipping was about $6 or something. So. I don't know, $16 for two of them. Other places I've seen them for $10 a piece, plus shipping. It's a really good place called uh, replacementlightbulbs.com. has mostly all kinds of fluorescent bulbs and other things. So I recommend them. I put the order in like on a Sunday. Bulbs were in my mailbox like on Tuesday. Can't ask for anything better than that. So anyway, uh, so that's the way you can fix a little fluorescent lamp just with a, an old CFL, uh, a lot cheaper than buying the ballast for it. They were, the magnetic ballast were uh, like $10, $15 and they wouldn't even fit. Electronic ballast were $25, $30, $40 bucks or something. Here for the price of an old burned out CFL, I got it working. So a little bit of success.